I came on the Skills for Success course in February of this year and um, I'd taken redundancy um, the previous year, had a couple of months doing whatever I wanted. I came on the course um, kicking and screaming. I was basically told if I don't go on the course they would stop my benefits. So I was up in arms about it and walked in thinking what kind of stupid course is this? Um, sat there the first day not saying a thing but fascinated with all that was going on and um, stayed for the entire course. After the course um, I was invited to come uh, become an apprentice to train in attention and um, go on lots of the courses myself again as a participant and eventually learn how to facilitate them for myself. What I've found is that it gave me an awful lot of confidence being on the course. I've found that it gave participants an awful lot of confidence. Um, it's difficult when you're out of work, you're kind of doing things all on your own. Um, when you're working with a group, you've got other people to support you and to, to help put you straight on, on the right lines. So work, that's how we work, is everybody working together as a group. Um, supporting, coaching and advising each other. How can you make and or save money for your employer? What kinds of things can you do that's going to make your employer money or save the money? Or we'll save money on the bills, electricity, water, stationery, etc and multitasking, calling employers instead of them advertising, yeah. share your knowledge with other employees. My question for you then, and you don't have to answer this now but what I'd really like you to do is think about it, think for the, about the things that you would like if you were the employer that you would like in an employee, how would that person show you that they had those skills or those qualities. So what I want you to think about is, if it was ideal for you, when would your next interview be? When would you start work? So what's next? What's the next step in your in your process? What's the next post-it note for you? To have a go. Yes. Great. <laughs> and have you got everything you need to have a go? Yes, I suppose. And if there's anything else you need to have a go, now's time to have a little think about it and think where those resources could come from. Okay. This is Curti. Curti is an advisor with Get Into Work. Um, Curti, you have clients on this course, is that right? Yes, there's a couple of clients we do have on this course. Okay. So for you, being on the course with your clients, what's been, what do you think is the value of the course from a client's perspective? I've actually got to speak to them properly in one to one and having six days with them has really let me know what they need help on individually and what they have worked on and they can actually get confident doing mm -hmm. so it's working on them individually which is really good for me. Mm -hmm. well, what kind of differences do you notice in people from when they start to when they finish <laughs> the course? They come in a bit edgy, not knowing where they want to go, what they want to do, but I think the course has given them direction, sense of direction. So a lot of them I've spoken to today and they've said that they know what they want to do with the mock interviews we've done today. They said, yeah, they want to go for this job and they sounded a lot more confident and it seems like they have done research on the actual job that they want to go for and training and they've looked at everything so it's been really good. Well, do you think that the, um, the cold calling is a useful part of the course? Then? Definitely, yeah. There's so many of them that have gone into or heard from the companies that they've actually gone in to see and sent CVs on for, and they all seem happy doing it, which is definitely, and the figures that you've given show so much. <laughs> Even to me, I've learned so much. So definitely the cold calling is a strong point. Mm -hmm.
it's very, very good. I can walk away from here more confident, a lot more confident than when I came in. Now I know how to sell myself more. It's made me come out and meet new people different, with different nationalities who I enjoy talking to and also building my confidence and making me come out of my shell. I was a bit nervous to start with and I don't know what to expect. It was all uh, confidence, you know, I, I didn't have much of that, but I feel a lot better with myself and I definitely know where I'm going and I, I'll pursue it and I want to carry on uh, chasing that elusive dream. I'm sorry that it's over, but you know, I can't stay here. I have to move on, but I recommend anyone who wants to come on this course.